All right, we're back here with our second lesson on polling, and I want to cover some more of the details to help you along. First thing you need to know is that if you created questions and saved them, you're going to be able to come up here to this icon and click open. And I've created a folder inside my documents folder where I have stored my questions. And so I basically just open them. So you need to remember where you save your polling questions. And when you click open, the questions populate. And you can come down here to options before you run your poll. And you can set a time limit. If you have just a couple questions, you might make this only so many seconds. But if you have a lot of questions, you want to you know, ensure that people can finish the questions if it's a quiz or something so that you give enough time for it. You can also include in the poll results from no answers or from a number of responses. It depends on what you need to do. When you're finished with that, you click OK. You have set your options. Another thing you can do is you can record the individual responses. So if an individual answers more than once, you can see that. So when you run your poll, it's going to show you in a bar graph the statistics for each of your questions. You're also going to see at the same time as the poll is running, you'll see here's the timer and how much time they have. And you'll see how many of them have already completed it and it will populate this as it's being done. And so when you're finished with all that, you close your poll, and then you click this X up here, and it's going to ask you, do you want to save the questions? I'm going to say no. And it will also ask you if you want to save your poll results. It all depends on what you're trying to accomplish.